Hello there, everyone. Right now, it's 201 on November 15th. I just heard CJ is visiting today. It sounds like he's just here to relax, but I know he's interested in buying fish. That's all for today. Have fun out there. So, today we're starting a little earlier than I normally do. It happens every once in a while, but as part of that, I also have a hard time limit. I have, we have exactly, well, 58 minutes, and then that's when I have to end. So we have a hard time limit today, but other than that, yeah, Animal Crossing. You know, Prisby on a Helix. I don't know, we might be able to get some Happy Home Paradise stuff done today. I would, I'd be surprised if we couldn't. Or, yeah, I, I don't know, it depends. Like, it depends on how long morning routine stuff takes. Because you, you never know. We gotta remember to check turnip prices today and do all that jazz. Oh, there's CJ. But I don't expect it to be, like, a, a big day or anything. It's, it's just a Monday. I'll take that. So, a few days ago, I was talking about the show Centaur World again. And how, like, the more I think about it, the more I, like, think about how much I enjoy it. And we got the trailer for, I saw we got the trailer for season two, which comes out in, like, early December. It's right around the corner. Like, a month away. Less than that, actually. And I guess we got the trailer for that, and so I watched it, and I was, and oh my gosh, I'm all, I'm already sold back in on it. <laughs> Becky Apples. Oh my gosh, that's... That's so good. I'm so down for season two. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't. Centaur World's just a show I enjoy, and it was it was weird. It's weird as hell. But you know, I loved me some Adventure Time, so I'm down. Sometimes, you know, you gotta be down for weird as hell, and yeah, Centaur World was weird, but it was fun, and I liked the music. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's right around the corner. And you better believe we will be talking. That Centaur World video I just put together from a stream highlight is like my best performing video in like a year. Or at least in a while. Yeah, don't go, Zuck. I still like ya. Yeah, we might change our beautiful town ordinance. I might change it from beautiful to bell. Because, you know, picking up three weeds per day is a lot less effort than having to pluck a bunch of flowers that just randomly get watered. I mean, I know they still get water in the rain, but it's... I don't know, I should, I should look in what, to, what they actually do. Because I swear part of the beautiful ordinance is, like, you're supposed to have... Like, I don't... It, I guess it's not no weeds, but it's definitely supposed to be, like, less weeds. And I feel like there hasn't been a change, like, at all. I mean, I guess there probably is less, but when you're picking them every day, it doesn't always feel that way. I guess we can still go stop by the roost real quick and fossils and whatnot. We have more potatoes, we have tomatoes. Of course, we also have turnips, which is the big thing. We might be able to make some money from it. We also might not be able to, but. I'd rather try, not. 
Hey, blathers, um, yep, yeah, what do we have? I've got fossils. Yes, I know you already have all these. No, never mind. Alright, let's go to the roost to get coffee. Oh gosh, I could use a coffee in real life. <laughs> like I'd ever drink coffee. Yes, please. So yesterday he gave us pigeon milk. And I just saw, to like, you can tell, like, there are certain events that happen in certain ways. As long as you, uh, like, as long as you visit the roost every day, certain events are going to play out. So I got a message. So, like, I saw a bunch of people being like, pigeon milk? What? Because, you know, he did that yesterday to us, and he did it to a bunch of other people as well. Because there are fixed things that you get for visiting the roost. I, I think I just think it's neat. Mm. Oh my god! I'm now relaxing because you know I've had class today and then I've got stuff to do after this. But I'm th I'm just like thinking now like oh my gosh I'm finally like taking a minute to relax. God I'm so tired. We already have that. Oh bamboo shoots. Okay. It's weird that it's a cooking recipe. I don't I don't know. I mean, yeah, I know you can eat bamboo, but still. Oh, fuck, we can get a gaming PC. Oh, shit. Figure out how much a gaming PC is. Milk. Oh, I'll take some milkshake. I'll take a few. And I should get one more. Because I think we bought three of the melon sodas. How much is a gaming PC? 53. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. I figured it'd be more. If we had hit up the money tree, we would have had enough money to do this right now. But I forgot. Hey, Coco, are you talking about leaving? Yeah, sure, I'll come, come take a visit, Coco, real quick. Why not? It's been a while. Oh, you're visiting me. For some reason, I thought I was visiting you. Again, I'm still used to, in Skyward Sword, you have to hit L to move the camera. So I keep hitting L to try to move the camera. I did last night, I did beat Skyward Sword, and we will talk about it probably Thursday. Because I would love to do it today, but we probably don't have the time, because I'm going to, because I got a lot to say. 
Oh, gosh dang it. I always... I keep saying... I keep doing that. But yeah, so I beat Skyward Sword, and I have... I, I think I have a lot to say. I might not, actually. But I'm probably going to hold off for a few days anyways. So we have Skyward Sword... Uh, tomorrow night is a late night, so it'll be late. Same thing with Wednesday. Wednesday is also a late... Wednesday is, like, my busy day this week. Um, I've got a, um... What's it? A department meeting? So, yeah, Wednesday is my busy day, and it you better believe it's going to keep me busy. So, it pro we definitely probably won't do anything on Wednesday. But Thursday. I think on Thursday we'll finally be able to take a minute... And do some... And talk about Skyward Sword. Um, I don't know if I'll do... Like, I don't have any, like, video footage or anything. So it's not going to be, like, one of those... Like, what I did for, like, Fall Guys or Pikmin 3 back in the day. Like, those full video review things. No, we're just going to walk around, do shit, and talk about it. Alright, we got a baseball cap. Let's get out of here. Gosh, she makes it sound like we're, le we're like she's leaving our house, or like we're leaving her house. Okay, let's see. We got a ratloid. Oh, it's like a jack o' lantern. Okay. And we got hey, one of the wobbly cactus guys. Trembloid. And we bought all these milkshakes, which... <laughs> hey, maybe it'll bring all the boys to our yard. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Just, like, set up a bunch of milksh... God, again, I wish mannequins were in this game. Because I would love to set up, like, a milkshake on the table outside. And then just surround it with boys. And be like, yeah, our milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Ah, oh, that'd be funny. Be dumb as hell, but you know, that's pretty on brand for what we do in this series. All right, let's go buy that gaming desk. I guess. Actually, let's go to Island first. So I did, I, did, I did say I'd say this again yesterday, but yesterday we, I realized that we hit day 11, or day 600 on Wednesday, November 11th. That's what I meant. So yeah, we hit day 600, and that's, that's a big deal. Honestly, day 600, that's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty crazy. I mean, technically, again, I stopped playing daily sometime after day 500, so technically it hasn't been 500 day. <sighs> technically it hasn't been 600 days in a row, but it's still been a lot of days in a row. It was it was a lot of days in a row. And then after that, it kind of relaxed a little bit. Oh, hey, he's got two new paintings. Of which I think they're both fake. If anyone's real, it's this one. The Mona Lisa one, I know for a fact, is fake. But that one looks real to me, anyways. So, let's see. Do other people have different items, or is it just him? Yeah, no, this is all different. Okay. What about Leaf? Do you have different things? I see your sign still says. Her shop. Yeah, you do have different things. Oh my gosh. Um. Technically. I mean, technically. Seed for potatoes. I'll t I, I think we should get... I don't know how many we need. 
I think we only need 10 for what I have in mind. Well, so yeah, we'll just grab 10 at the moment. But yeah, so it looks like the week restarts on Wednesday. Or on Monday, I mean. So by so every Monday, they will have new stock. So it doesn't explain you, Cornimer. That's so freaking weird. So, Haru, what new things do you have? Um, I, I'm curious about both of these, actually. I don't know, Stormy Night might be one of those things that we have, but it also totally might not be. I know this is all our gaming desk money, but we can pull more out of the bank. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. And then I guess this path, mossy garden. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think I have that one. But I, the next one is just a wood one, and I'm pretty sure I have that. And then we'll buy that car, that snowflake carpet, because I also, again, I don't think I have that. Uh, the blue Hawaii quilt. Oh, I'm afraid of because again, it looks it looks like a snowflake to me, anyways. I don't know. We we do have to start decorating for Christmas next month. I think we start what December eighth. Even though, again, I don't know if we'll be doing Christmas stream. Reveal your fortune. Yes, I'd like to know my luck. What do you see? That, that last line is something backwards, and I didn't have enough time to read it. The something, something, something. A certain island gather in a photo studio on a smaller island. Big smile. Your luck with friendship will improve. Could my happen to so just neutral luck again. I guess the the crystal ball when it comes to like right now it's been pulling like our face. But I guess it can pull random photos from your custom DIYs or whatever, your custom patterns. So I've seen some pretty funny images out of that. And let's head home. Oh my gosh, God, I don't know why, but animal, it's just, I'm just so tired all of a sudden. Like the second, well, I was probably already tired before, but like the second we just, I like sit da sat down to do Animal Crossing, it all just hit me at once. Wow, everyone is here today. Oh, they're doing the stretchies. Uh, oh, we actually, for once, we actually did two days in a row. That rarely happens. Uh, nothing, like always. Yeah, yeah. When, when is there ever anything new? Okay, that should give us a gaming desk, and we should have a little leftover afterwards. I'm honestly surprised the gaming deck is, desk is so cheap. I would expect that to be, I don't know, probably 200 bells. 
you know, 200k bells. But it isn't a Nintendo Switch. I mean, the game, this whole, like, gaming setup, which in real life probably costs, I don't know, probably... I don't know, some, someone could probably do it for less than a thousand. Okay, not with the graphics card shortage we're on right now, but... Someone could probably do it for less than a thousand. But I'm definitely thinking like a thousand to two thousand. I don't know, the desk alone it's, it's would be expensive. All the monitors for high enough quality. And the PC, I don't know. I don't know, people, people do challenges like that all the time. Like, hey, what's the best PC I can make for $20? God, I still have shit to do after this. Oh god. Oh my gosh, no. That's that's not good. I'm way I'm just exhausted right now. Oh, did we not freaking That's actually that's not bad. I mean I don't know where we'll use it, but that's not bad. I might have that already, but I'm not sure. Okay, I guess, I guess it's a little... It, it just it reminds me of a snowflake. Oh, it's it's even got a, a freaking LGB keyboard, keyboard or whatever. An RGB, what, whatever. It's got, it's got an LGBT keyboard. I actually hate hate that. That like the stuff like I I kind of get the appeal of mechanical keys I guess because like the clicking and whatnot, but actual like LEDs and like keyboards and headphones like the pair of headphones I use have an LEDs in them. I fucking hate it and have them turned off at all times. Of course, sometimes they turn themselves on on like when I like go to like put the computer in sleep mode, and it's super annoying. So yeah, I don't really like uh, RGBs and things. I mean, I know I bought that multicolor shifting light thing that I... Th that, I don't know, it's fine. I, I barely use it, honestly. It's just more of like a... Oh, that's neat, that's fun. Why, didn't we, why the fuck didn't we buy more tomatoes last week? I, he was selling tomato starters, and we know we're going to need more. Why, why the fuck did I buy more? Oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fool. Cause yeah, we should have at least bought four more tomato, tomato starters or six more. I mean, I mean, I know we've come across two tomato islands since we've started adventuring, but still, oh, that, that was that was a fool's errand. Ah, hopefully we'll find more. And having some is better than having none, you know. Oh, we got an achievement for mushroom picking. That's cool. Alright, now let's... I, I just realized we didn't even check this area earlier. I don't even think we ever came up into the mountains. Because, yeah, there's going to be a gyroid on here. A scattered troid. Curious and curiouser. All right, let's go deal with Captain. Let's go deal with the Captain Island, and I don't know what Captain has in store, or like what we're in store for. We have neutral luck today, so literally anything is possible. Oops. All right, uh, you ready to take a tour? Yes, yes I am. Let's set sail, shall we? Adventure! Adventure time! Come on, grab your friend.
Ooh, I almost hit the wrong button there for a second. Oh, we got carrots today. That's cool. Cool. Um, I just I, I, I pulled up Twitter real quick. I guess uh, Chugger Conroy just opened a bunch of packs of the amiibo cards, and he got what two Cephalobots. So I guess Cephalobot's a pretty common card. He also got two Zoes, a Judy, a few, a few neat things. I don't know. Again, we do have packs to open, but I, my goal right now is to do that on Fridays. So every Friday we're going to be opening packs. Probably anyways. Again, some, some days might vary because we, again, like next week for example, we probably won't stream on Friday. Or Wednesday, for that matter. I de definitely not Thursday, obviously, but that's Thanksgiving. But you know, you never knows. Oops. Um. Ah, we can. We can deal with that later. So it's nice we're getting more ingredients. We've got wheat, or we've got carrots, potatoes, tomatoes. Now we just need wheat and sugarcane. Plus, I'm pretty sure there's a fourth ingredient. I don't know. I don't see any reference of it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure there is a fourth ingredient. I just don't remember what it is, or a, a sixth ingredient. I mean, because it's. We have pumpkins, carrots and potatoes, wheat and sugar cane, and so we're, mi we're missing one. Of course, it is weird that there's two types of wheat. There's whole wheat and then there's normal wheat. I find that for, like, cooking. And I think they use the same product, which is just weird. But whatever, it's not like we have a choice. I gotta stew these carrots, you know? I'm, I'm just thinking of dishes, making dishes from like Breath of the Wild or whatever. So, today, we, we, we need to talk about this at some point. They did an Xbox showcase for Xbox 20th, Xbox 20th anniversary, which I think was actually a few days ago, but they did, like, the big conference thing today. And the big thing to come... I, I didn't actually watch it, because, you know, I was in class when it happened, like I always am nowadays. But the big thing to come out of it seems to be that they Halo... Uh, infinite multiplayer beta thing is out today. I I don't th I think it's just free to play. Like I don't even think you need Game Pass to do it. Which I don't have Game Pass at the moment, so that's that's nice, I guess. Even though there are games I do need to play. Like I really should get around to Psychonaut. I really or I should have gotten around to Psychonauts back when Game Pass was a thing. Back when I had it, but I just didn't. 
God, yeah, there's just there's just too many games to play. I think that's how it is at the end of the day. Because I just have too much to play. Did I say Psychonauts or Psychonauts 2? I don't remember just right now. But I, I meant Psychonauts 2, because that seemed... I, I mean, I've only played part of the first one, but... I've just heard nothing but good things about the Psychonauts, so, yeah. And I know that's going to be, like, a big Game of the Year contender this year is Psychonauts 2. And for good reason, because, yeah, it seems to be a good game. Yeah, well, let's go back. And that's the way the news rolls. But yeah, so Xbox's 20th anniversary, and I wanted to talk about that, so when we get back to the island, we'll talk about that a little bit. Oh my gosh, just seeing just seeing all these NFT bros get angry on Twitter because people are right-clicking and saving images of their fucking ugly monkeys. Oh my gosh, and their lions. And they just keep getting worse. Like honestly, they just these just they just keep getting worse. These fucking NFTs. Oh my god. Like it's like less and less effort. And there's so much supply and so little demand for them, and it's it's a it, I would say it's a pyramid scheme, but I think that's being too kind. God, fucking NFTs, man! I remember when NFT or when like NFTs first became popular earlier this year, and it was like, oh, okay, this this has potential. This could be a this could be a good thing. I mean, it's the energy consumption sucks, but I like the part where like the artist gets paid every time the art sells. That's pretty good. That should become standard practice. But then, like, all the reports about, like, how much just energy they consume. And, like, it's... it's the, NFTs consume as much energy as, like, a small nation. Like, a small African nation. So it's... It's pretty fucking bad. And they just keep getting worse. <laughs> I know there are other blockchains that try to use less, but... It's a fucking mess, and I hate... And, of course, every video game thing is like, Oh, well, let's do more NFTs. Hey, what if we made your Mario an NFT, and he went faster, and we literally created one of the worst games ever made? Wouldn't that be funny? Ha 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 ha. Fucking NFTs, man. But, God, and they're, they're like, I know I'm bad at drawing, like, right? I'm terrible at art. But even I'm better than some of these fucking NFTs. These monkeys, these lions. Which are just some of the ugliest shit I've ever seen. So, what are they called? Not cyberpunks. They're like cyber dudes or something like that. But it, it's totally a griff. It, that's what it all is. And now that the IRX is taxing, taxing it... Well then, hey, hopefully this will all work out fine in the end. Hopefully the ta- It's it's like when people started reporting um, women on OnlyFans to the IRS for not paying their taxes. Like, that, th that'll that regulate the market, you better believe it. Probably, anyways. People need to pay their taxes. I know Elon Musk was like, like, 
in his like meme meme fucking asshole way was like oh bernie sanders just tell me what taxes i need to pay and i'll pay them and then that, that there was that whole thing with fucking elon musk about how he was like oh well if people if the un t- tells me that i have the enough money to end world hunger then give me an exact plan of what i need to do and i'll do it that's not what he those are what that's how the articles make it sound to like try to make the un look stupid no that's not at all what fucking elon said yeah no fucking not even close to what he said but that's how they want to make it sound because it makes ellen look like oh hey look at this he's fucking he'll fucking end world hunger which he does totally have enough money to do I mean, fucking, the, the one that pisses me off is fucking the Department of, I think it's, it's, I don't think it's the Department of Defense. I think it's the Department of Infrastructure has a plan to end homelessness in the United States. And I think it only costs like, it's, it's like, it's like 280 million, which I know sounds like a lot. But out of a billion, that's fuck for like a hundred billionaire like Elon Musk, that's fucking nothing. It might it might be more than that. It might be like closer to like two billion dollars. I don't remember, but it's not. It's it's a lot, but it's definitely not a lot for people like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, and it's not enough for the U.S. government, who at the same time that like this plan like came out or whatever, also increased the military's budget by that exact number i think they actually increased it by more so yeah homelessness is a problem we could easily end in this country according to the department of infrastructure defense or whatever and instead we just put more money into um the military because you know we we live in a fail state that's limping along in fucking disaster and chaos I mean, get the get that bread, as they say, or else you'll be standing in lines all day because the winter is cold. All right, I, you know we we got. I could I could. I'm so tired. I could just end off right now, but it's not like I'm going to like sleep or anything because I have stuff to do at um, not at three, but like at right after three. So we're not ending off yet. So I guess let's go do a home on Happy Home Paradise or whatever the fuck. Let's go to work. Yep, yeah, time for takeoff. Oh, I was supposed to be talking about Xbox, fuck. I will do that when we get there. Uh, we'll, we'll do that while we're housing or whatever. Uh, that's a movie I've been thinking about watching. Uh, Ready Player One. Oh, hey, it's Pongo. You, who I don't recognize, who I recognize you. And fucking Bobbert. Oh my gosh, it's Bobbert. We'll go, we'll go help out Bobbert. Oh, is that a freaking deep fryer? Ooh. And I'm curious about that spotlight as well. I'm ready to work. Alright, let's get to work. Oh yeah, I'm kinda I'm curious in a lot of these things. Ooh. Let's do a good job today and actually get some of this. Hey, uh, Bobbert. My house is full. Hey, Bobbert. This place, this place is fun. Hey, are you fun too? Wait, don't you work with Paradise Planning? You're fun. So vacation houses, they're cool, and everyone wants stuff. That's cool, and I'm one of everyone. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, can we start now? Cause I want to start now. Pfft. You're cool, Bobbert. You're cool. Nice if my vacation home was kind of like... 
A blooming indoor garden. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. That's, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right. To you choose an island. So he wants a garden. Um, I want to put him where the butterflies are. Whoa, that spot's cool. Like, I can't wait to go out there. Pfft. I can't believe that's his catchphrase. Now, Bob, we found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself. Please leave Bobbert to the site, and best of luck. I love that there. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Oh, give me a second, I'm gonna pull it's so fucking stupid that there are just villi some villagers who I just don't call by their real name. Like, like, like Bobbert, who I just call Bobbert. Because, why not? Because he is Bobbert. Alright, so we got- this is what we have to work with. Okay, that's more than enough. Um, okay, we got a bunch of flowers. We got white... I think I want to go with white roses. Yeah, sure, we'll work with that. Um, I want stuff on the walls, obviously. An indoor garden, huh? I like I like the idea of chairing it and then tabling it. Okay, so that gives us room to scoot around all that. And then we got all sorts of shit. I want to put a record player in the back. What, what is this a... Oh, that's a shower. And then we'll put a flower stand in the other side here. I saw this cabinet thing over here, this Nordic shelf. Yeah, sure, that seems good. I saw this as well, this flower display case. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so we got that, we got flower displays. I'll put, I'll put a book. Sure, like a coffee a coffee table book. Sure, I like that. That's not a bad idea. Let's put a which which flower painting? I like this one better. go. I don't want to put a poster of Bobbert himself up. That would just be weird. And then I know we have actually a bunch of flowers. A mum cushion, a pansy table, a rose bed. I don't know, I, I feel like I want more stuff on the wall, I guess. Like, right here, specifically. But there really isn't, like, there's only... Oh, there's a mirror. 
I can work with a mirror. Oh, it's a table. It's really, really a tabletop mirror. I definitely want to get another painting or something over here. Because I don't want Bobber himself to be just that. Oh, boom. There we go. Wall planter. Or I guess we have all these reefs. Um, maybe a tulip reef would be nice. Because even though most of our stuff is roses. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. Um, did, did they give us anything for the top of the roof? Yeah, it, it's a very simple house, but I don't know. I like it. Okay, there we go. That's not that's not a terrible photo. And yeah, we can sneak in between these things. And hey, Bobbert. Yep, I'm all done. It's all ready to go. I know we could like mess around with the outside, and maybe we will in the future. But because like I gave him all the butterflies, I should probably like set up like a bush, some bushes and whatnot on the outside. That would make sense. God, I was gonna talk about fuck. I keep thinking, like, I'm gonna talk about Xbox, but just designing the houses on Happy Home just keeps me thinking. But we're just gonna do one today. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, Bobbert's got a cute house. Oh, look at that. I love that. I didn't realize we could take photos during this, like, weird montage thing. Oh, God, who was it? Lonely Goomba over on Twitter? I don't know if he uploaded it on YouTube yet, because I think he was talking about it. He did a first-person horror thing in Animal Crossing. And it looked so good. Like, I was so impressed with um his like first person horror thing because yeah you can just because of the first person camera now you can just do that in animal crossing and it like works and like like i think i mentioned there was like someone made like an in-game horror movie at one point and i was like oh that's cool or like yeah like an in-game like horror movie trailer and now you can do that in first person it's rather impressive honestly when you think about it no, did you like to talk to him? Alright, so we've got to go check with Nico, but we're going to buy some stuff here. We'll buy a deep fryer. We'll... Oh, it's a bubble machine. Okay, I'm curious to take that back to the house. If we don't buy this, that's fine. Yeah, no, it, it's whatever. It's, it's It reminds me of like a wedding table, which is why it's neat. But we don't actually need it. Pongo. Oh, hey, you're you're a kid. Hey, Nico. Looking for a boat ride? Lottie sent me to talk to you. What could this be about? Oh, right. So glad she remembered. I did have something else to talk to you about. Check out this bottle. It was just walking along the beach, and then, boom, free bottle. You never know what this islands are going to give you. I had something inside that I'd never seen before. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Hey, you're a worldwide tra- Maybe you can help. Here it is. Any ideas? Oh, sure, that's a... Oh, really? A recipe for a DIY crafting? I've heard of that before. I mean, enjoy building and working with my hands and stuff. So I know about DIY, i just never seen a recipe. Well, mystery solved. Thank you. Here, you can have the recipe. Thanks for the knowledge. So glad you were finally put two and two together for me. 
I heard a lot about DIY recipe from the tours. Hmm. Maybe I should be a tours one day. Get away from the islands for a little bit. Heh, enough daydreaming. Tell Lottie, thanks for the reminder. A vine hanging chair. Okay, that's cool that it's a new one. I hadn't even thought about, like, like a daily, like, DIY from, like, the beaches. Because I know, I know you don't always get DIYs when you do, uh, plane tours with the dodos. But Captain's Island seems to always... You can't... You, you do a lot of the time, but not it's not guaranteed. And Captain, uh, Captain's Island seemed to be guaranteed, though. Because you get, like, cooking recipes and whatnot. Oh my gosh, everyone's hanging out here. Hey, Walker. Hi, my vacation home's super neat. My bug friends love it. How are things? My vacation house is so comfy, all the food tastes better than it does at home. To be scientifically, I had a bite of a sandwich here, then took it home and had another bite. It was way better here. That's cute. Oh, Walker, that, that was cute. And now we're going to have Bobbert start showing up and being Bobbert. Alright, I guess that. Let's head home for the day, I guess. And we'll talk about Xbox and end off. Because, again, we still have a hard time limit in, like, seven minutes. Oh, God. So, um, Xbox, Xbox did their 20th anniversary today, Halo Beta, hey, that's cool for people who are interested in that. Um, I guess <laughs> they're bringing over some new game, like, some Xbox 360 games over to the Xbox whatever, or, like, they're backwards compatible, so, like, you have to own the game previously, but, yeah. And one of them is 50, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, which is pretty funny. Because you know, I think that, that's one of those games that kind of, like, became, like, a joke. I mean, I don't think it was good, but it, like, became, like, a joke, like a punchline. Like, that game. So that, that's kind of funny. Um, but then I wanted to just talk about, like, my history with Xbox. So I, 20 years ago, I did not have an Xbox, obviously. But, like, I don't know, probably, like, 2005, 2006, I would go over to a friend's house. And he had an original Xbox. And he had Halo 2. Both technically Halo 1 and 2, but we always just played 2. So, like, I think the 360 was out by this point. But yeah, he just had an original Xbox, and we would play Halo 2. And God, I had so much fun. Just we'd stay up late into the night, play Halo 2. And it was just such a good time. Halo 2 is such a good... Friday. And I still hold fond memories of it to this day. Don't really remember the story mode, because, you know, we mostly just did multiplayer and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed Halo 2. And I, you know, I probably played a little bit of Halo 1. And, yeah, and then in... Tw and then I didn't actually get an Xbox 360 until, like, 2011. Because I got a Wii in, like, 2007 or 8. Don't remember when. So I got a Wii, and then I had the Wii for the longest time. But then at some point, I was like, you know what? I want to get an Xbox, because, you know, there are, there are some other games that I'm interested in. Like, a, lo a lot of, like, stuff that had already come out like that by that point, like Bioshock and Halo, um, not Halo 3. I did play Halo Reach. I went over to a friend's house at one point, and um, we played Halo Reach together. But that was a whole different thing. But yeah, I wanted to get an Xbox because there were Call, Call of Duty 4 was one of them, probably GTA 4 as well. I don't know, there was a bunch of games. And I got it in 2011. At least I'm pretty sure it was 2011. Because I got it when Skyrim came out. Like that Christmas when Skyrim came out. Because I got the Halo X. Because I know there was the Red Ring thing and I didn't. So I waited until they like fixed that. Technically I didn't have the money at the time, but. I mean, I was, I was a kid back then, so yeah. Or I was a lot younger than I was now. But I got Halo, I got Skyrim. That was one of the first games I got on the Xbox. And yeah, I think that was 2011. I don't know. And then I had a Kinect. I had an Xbox Kinect and I had, um, 
I had that Star Wars Connect game. I had Connect Adventures, the rare one. Or whatever that rare game Connect, the game rare made for Connect was. Uh, probably Connectimals or something like that. I don't know. The Connect was fucking stupid. Like, I knew it was the. Like, everyone was, like, toting that, like, oh, it's the big thing, the Connect. Oh, it's huge. Or Xbox was, anyways. And then, hey, the Connect fucking sucked. But, I don't know. I probably had one of the Just Dances as well. Even though the Just Dances worked so much better on the Wii. Because it required less registration and whatnot. And then the Xbox One got announced, and it was like, oh, this is the dumbest thing imaginable. I fucking hate this. This is so stupid. So I spent years making fun of the Xbox One. I did play the Xbox One, actually, on um, m multiple occasions. Um, because my, my brothers had one, and so I would, like, occasionally, like, play games on theirs. Like, Watch Dog, the first Watch Dogs, which I thought was fine at the time. Still kind of do. It's nothing amazing, but I thought it was fine. But fuck Ubisoft, the company that uh, physically and mentally abuses their employees. I played Plants vs. Zar Zombies Garden Warfare, and I really enjoyed that game. Oh my gosh. That, that game was so much fun. And I know it had loot boxes in it and whatnot, but I don't I remember you being able to pay, like, real currency for in-game currency until Garden Warfare 2. I'm pretty sure Garden Warfare 2 was the one who did the, was the one that did that. But I, I enjoyed Garden Warfare, and there were probably a few other things I played on the Xbox One. But I just, I didn't really use it. And then, and then so I was very anti-Xbox for a long time. And then Game Pass got announced. And it all of a sudden became very, and it, like, it took about a year for me to realize it. But it was like, oh wait, Game Pass is actually really good. Like, it's a really good deal, it's got a lot of good games on it. Holy shit, getting an Xbox might actually be worth it. And so, so last year when the Xbox uh, Series X came out, I knew someone who got a Series X, and they didn't have any plans for their Xbox One. They were just gonna like put it in storage or whatever, because the you know the Series X plays all the same Xbox One games, so they didn't really need it anymore. And I was like, hey, can I take it? And they're like, yeah, sure. So that's how I got an Xbox One. Oh my God, it's a bubble machine. Oh, that's fucking adorable. That's that's actually a really cool get. Yeah, that's a that's a really cool get. I don't know how we'll use that at some point. If we get another one, we could put it in Crab Brave, but Yeah, it, like if but I'd want two. That's really cool. And then do we have a place for a deep fryer up here? Oh, good, we can't... Or, is that... That's the Ironwood kitchen in it. I was gonna say, can we make stuff with a deep fryer? <laughs> huh. That's cool. That's cool. Deep fryer. Oh, gosh, dude. Is there an air fryer in this game? I feel like I might have seen an air fryer at one point. <laughs> Uh. But yeah, so that's where I am right now. I had Xbox. I had I got an Xbox last year, technically. I had Game Pass. Did not play nearly as many games as I should have. There was like probably like a like a at least a dozen games I should have played, and I only got around to like two of them. And some of them aren't even on Game Pass anymore. And then some some of them still are, like the Outer Worlds and the Outer Wilds, which I never beat the Outer Worlds, and I never even attempted the Outer Wilds. But yeah, Xbox is no Xbox Game Pass is good nowadays. Um, I think it definitely makes up for their lack of exclusives, even though they've they've been very malicious in their purchasing power, and have bought up big studios like Bethesda, and smaller studios, and they they they're they better get their money's worth out of them. God, yeah, God, they bought Mojang at one point. Yeah, that was that was a big fucking deal. Yeah, no, I, I don't hate Xbox. I, I There was a period where I was like, oh, after the 360, because I liked the 360 fine enough, but it was just like, oh my god, this the Xbox One sucks. The PS4 is so much better. And it took me a while, but I, in like 20... 
19 so in 2019 i got the ps4 and in 2020 i got the xbox one and this year i got the ps5 and yeah because i'm still but you know i'm still all aboard the uh, piece playstation train because i like their exclusives but the xbox isn't bad and if i didn't have the xbox one i, I don't know i may, might be considering a series x but probably not Maybe a Series X because it's cheaper, but then I, I do... I don't know. I'm, I'm not worrying about that at the moment, obviously. Like, I, I don't need one. And, like, I, I mean, what do I want to play on a Series X? Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yes, I actually do want to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. But, yeah, Xbox, you know, you've had your ups and downs. But much like how when, like, companies like... Like, I think of Nintendo. Nintendo releases the GameCube. It flops hard. They work they work harder, they work smarter, and we get the Wii. The Wii had its fair share of problems, but it was a massive success. And then Nintendo got lazy, rested on their laurels, created the Wii U, one of the worst systems. Even though, again, I don't think it's actually that bad. But then because of the Wii U's massive failure, bigger than the GameCube, they created the Switch. And the Switch is a pretty good system, all things considered. That, that Xbox did the same thing. The Xbox 360 did so well, even though, again, it got trounced by the Wii... Everything got trounced by the Wii. The 360 still did really well. So Microsoft rested on their laurels, created the Xbox One, and the Xbox One was fucking garbage. But they eventually fixed it and got better. Which, it's... Okay, it still blows my mind that the Xbox 360 did so well. One in every... I want to say it's one in every two, but it might be one in every four. Original Xboxes Red Ringed. That's how bad it was. The Red Ring... It affected, yeah, anywhere from 25 to 50% of all Xbox 360 users. And somehow Microsoft managed to recover from that. Like, I would think that would that alone should have killed the Xbox. And it didn't. And they managed to recover from it. And the 360 was massively successful. Of course, it, it also helped that generation that the PS3, right after the PS2's biggest console of all time... The PS play for play, for PlayStation Three, Sony just rested on their laurels, and the PS Three was a failure for the longest time. Eventually, like the the Xbox One, they did eventually fix it and made the console better. And by the end of its lifetime, the PS Three actually did pretty good. I, I don't. It might have outsold the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, but I don't think it did. And again, both consoles got trounced by the Wii because the Wii was just an unstoppable monster. The same thing with the DS. The DS was also just an unstoppable monster. That's like the second best-selling system of all time behind only the PS2. And again, I, I have my complications with the PS2 numbers because it's like 17 years worth of... It's actually, I think, closer to like 15. But the PS5, the PS2 was on the market for like 15 years. Whereas most of these consoles get 7 if they're lucky. Sometimes even less. Saturn. God, how long even was the Saturn on the market? I don't honestly know. Was it even on the market? Because, you know, they wasn't sold at Walmart. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever played a Sega Saturn game. Maybe I played the Sonic Sega Saturn game, uh, the 3D one, 3D Blast or whatever. But, like, I really don't remember. Sonic is... Fuck, man. The Sega Saturn in general. Same thing with the... I, I played some Dreamcast, but not much at all. But yeah, Xbox, man, 20 years, I think competition is healthy, I'm glad, I'm kind of glad Xbox is still in it, because, well, I could easily see Xbox just becoming a brand of PC, like, you know, Alienware, or all those other ones. At the same time, I'm glad that Sony and Nintendo have competition. It makes them tr try to do better. But that's just my thoughts on it. Competition is healthy, and all three... Co well, gaming is a fucking shit show nowadays, with terrible companies doing terrible things, and Microsoft is definitely the most guilty of them. Like, M Microsoft is more willing to put in microtransactions and loot boxes and whatnot than Sony or Nintendo. I don't know, Game Pass is still a pretty good deal at the end of the day. It really is. It's, it's just such a good deal, and hopefully they'll back off some of that bullshit and especially now that they have bethesda even though bethesda you know loves to put like todd howard realized the power of the loot box and the microtransaction because again oblivion horse armor yeah that's 20 years of xbox 
And yeah, so that was my hard time limit. Technically, we hit it a few minutes ago, but I kept going anyways. Um, tomorrow we'll be back. We'll be it's it'll be later. We'll probably do another Happy Home Village thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're still I'm keeping an eye on my turnips. Maybe they'll still get for good prices. Who knows? But for now, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.